every single phase in my life, that's how it's been, man, it's been, this is the next step, this is the next step, I've always known, I've always known what is coming next in my life, so for all the years that have passed by, as a young man, and for most young people, we actually know the way that our lives occur, you start from kindergarten, you go to junior school, you go to high school, you go to university, maybe you do your masters, maybe you do your PhD, maybe you move on to your career. But eventually a time is going to come when you don't know what's going to happen anymore. And there's nothing to visualize, there's nothing to work toward. All there is, is just the present moment and what exists right now, but you don't know where life is taking you exactly. And at this moment, this is a time where I've started to incorporate the practice of meditation into my being. To allow my subconscious mind to tell me where I'm supposed to be going because I believe that the creator, the God, the universe, the powers that you believe in, you watching this video right now, the powers that you believe in live inside me and they tell me and they guide me and they show me the path to take. And because of that, I've allowed myself to quieten and slow down everything else that occurs outside of my existence, outside of where this horse resides, so that I can listen to it more clearly and know exactly where to go. Because at this point in my life, as I've told you, man, I've been through the process of going to school, junior school, in the car, God, blah, blah, blah. And every single time I moved up one stage, when I went from junior school to high school, I always had a vision and I could sit down literally and picture it in my mind and see all the possibilities, see all the things that could happen. And that's the way that my mind was wired. I was able to have a very abstract vision of where I was going. I was able to visualize, to mentally prepare before I even got into the situation. So that now when I was in the situation, it's like I'm doing it for the second time. It's like I've already been here before. And it's easy to do that when you know the direction that your life is going in because, as I said at the beginning of the video, most of us as young people, young children, most of us have a part that's already been created for us but at a certain point which is the point that i am now that part is done you reach the final destination you got there but now you need to find a new part or else you stay stuck in this exact same spot where nothing is happening nothing is moving forward nothing is going backwards life is just still and I like to call this spot the comfort zone and this is the comfort zone the comfort zone is the place where you don't have to challenge yourself you just stay repeating the same day over and over and over and over again because you lack vision you lack imagination and because of that you will stay stuck in the zone and it seems like, as a young man, I would have watched this video thinking, yeah, this guy is actually saying something that is true, and whoever gets into that position is a waste man. But once you get to a certain point in your life, you start to discover that it's easier for you to fall down the waste man part at all times, at all conjunctions. It's always easier for you to do the easy things as opposed to the hard things, for you to do the fun things as opposed to the productive things, it's easier to become a waste man. So it's easy to fall into these traps. And it actually takes a lot of intelligence for you to realize that you have fallen into this trap. And it takes for you to be able to see yourself from a third point of perspective.
for a third person's view, bird's eye view. That's the way that you have to see yourself for you to avoid these things because you will not see the trap up until you're actually in it and a bit of time has passed by. It's always, exci it's always exciting when you get there, man. It's exciting to realize that you've come to the end of the journey, to the end of the destination. But once you lack vision to carry you on to the next, or you lack the drive to carry you on to the next challenge, that's the beginning of your demise. And that is the beginning of the downfall of what once was a great man. A great man. That is the story of I used to be. And you don't want to be a used to be. You want to be an I am. This is what I am. At this point in my life, I haven't achieved everything that I want to achieve. I haven't acquired everything that I want to acquire. But there's more to life than all of those things. Life is more about the journey. The things that you accumulate and acquire on the path are all fair and fine. But those are things that do not last. Those are things that you're going to give for now. And maybe you're going to give them back later. It's going to be a, a car now. In five years, you might not have that car. It's going to be this house. In ten years, you might not be in that house. It's going to be this pair of shoes, these clothes. Um this gadget, this, whatever it is, man, all of those things are, are not consistently there. All of those things are fleeting things. They're things that are here now and they can be gone tomorrow. But the things that we want are things that are going to be here now. They're going to be there tomorrow. They're going to be the, there the day after that and they're going to be there the day after that. And they're going to be there maybe forever, depending on how the public perception and atmosphere is at that time. But we want to build things that are going to be there forever, things that are not going to run away, things that are not going to disintegrate or fall under pressure. And those are things that can only be stored in your mental. Everything else that's stored outside of your mental can be taken from you, can be destroyed, it can be lost forever. But once it's here in the mental, you can store it, keep it for as long as you want, knowing that you have access to that information because you've been through the process of studying and experiencing. Therefore, you now are this new thing that has this new information. With this new information, you must create a new vision so that you can once again start the journey and commence and move forward. Because the journey is what keeps you alive. The journey is what keeps you strong. The journey is what keeps you sh fit, sharp, and smart. The journey is ultimately everything. And the destination is just a small fraction of what you get for completing the journey therefore it is important that you practice ways for you to culminate a new journey a new experience a new path especially when you've come to the end of a previous part a previous cycle and for those who are much much younger those who are still going to school you are on your path right now so you don't have to do any of these things because right now you're on your path to discover who you are, to discover yourself. And at some point you will get to the point that I'm talking about where there's nothing more to discover in terms of that, in terms of school, in terms of education, in terms of going through all of the normal human BS that we go through or the normal human phases that we go through. At some point you're not going to be able to progress past those points because that part is done. Those institutes are done. They've taught you what they taught you. They've given you what you needed to survive in life for you to make a living, to go and do this and to go and do that. And you cannot learn anymore unless if you're just going to dumb yourself down and keep repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating the same thing that you've learned before just so you can experience the same life. 
with the same lifestyle. But as I told you, at some point, that shit is done. That part of your life is gone. And you don't want to get stuck in limbo, in the comfort zone, not knowing what's going to happen to you, where you're going to go, or what you're going to do. So you have to become aware of these conjunctions, of these, of these checkpoints that you are going to reach on your journey of life. And you're going to have to start creating new ways for you to create a new path. And meditation, for me, very big one. I'll keep bringing it up over and over again because I told you I've gone to a point where there isn't really much to visualize. Most of the things that I saw or that I wanted to happen in my life have actually happened. You know, I managed to finish all the education that I needed. I managed to get out of my country, which is something that I truly desired since I was a child, was to leave the country that I was born in. I managed to move abroad. I managed to find a new career. I managed to find a path and a purpose. And now that I'm on that path and that purpose, I'm at a stage where I have to patiently wait for what life is going to manifest for me in this 3D world, in this 3D reality. I have to patiently wait and see what will occur. Because as I have told you, I have done what is required on those parts. I have done the work in my career, in my purpose. I have done the work. I am doing the work. I am doing the work and I'll keep doing the work for the rest of my life. So that part of my life is already done, man. I figured it out. But now, everything else, because I figured out all of the things that I truly desired since I was a child, I figured them out. I managed to bring them into fruition, into existence. Now, where do I go? Where do I move on to? And that is now the question. And that's why I started meditating. I started getting closer to God, the universe, the creative forces, myself. Because I know that from there, I'll be led onto the right path. But it's because I have the curiosity to seek and to find the truth and to find the answers and therefore naturally a new part will be created for me because I, I do not want to be comfortable I do not want to be stagnant I do not want to be stuck in the same place for a long time not making progress not making any gains at all not even losing gains just staying in the same place because I always tell myself that it's much better if things are extremely worse extremely good than for you to lie in the middle. I would rather be on the 10% extremely bad side or the 10% extremely good side than for me to be with the other 80% just lying in the middle wallowing in our comfort. And that's just the way that I am wired. That's the way that I think, which most people do not think that way. Most people would rather not be on the extreme ends and would rather actually be in the middle with everyone else. But I don't want to be with everyone else. Because in the middle there is the comfort zone. In the comfort zone is stillness, stagnation. The same day over and over and over and over and over and over. It's like you're living in a loop. It's like you're living in a loop, man. And you're just experiencing the same day over and over. You know what's going to happen before it's even happened. What type of a life is that, man? You know what you're gonna have for breakfast in the morning. You know what time you're gonna go to the gym. You know exactly what you're gonna do in the gym. You know the people that you're gonna see in the gym. You know what time you're gonna have lunch. 
you know what time you're gonna rest and recover you know what time you're gonna have dinner you know what time you're gonna do this all your habits down to a T you know everything that you're gonna do on a daily basis every single day how do you live like that man I understand one year two years three years but when it's now your life year after year after year after year after year after year doing the same exact shit over and over and over again man I promise you it'll make me go crazy bro it'll make me go crazy I can't I can't do it man but for others man they just do it they don't even they don't even feel it because that's the part that they are on that is their life I'm here to talk to people who cannot live that way people who want to experience what God truly has created on this earth because he's created it for you to experience it so that he can experience it himself through you therefore as you find yourself moving on your path and on your journey and you get to this point where you don't know which direction to go meditate 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 and from there as you speak to God you will reveal the golden path that you are supposed to take